Whoa, hey everybody today, uh, wow, I got a lot to do. Um, so first off, I'm gonna open this huge package. This thing is so heavy. Yeah, um, there's six, well actually, yeah, there's six or seven diamond paintings in there. The thing is so heavy. Plus, I'm gonna open this. I got uh, a new diamond um, paint pen that I ordered. And uh, hey, I got some hand exercise tips for you from my orthopedic surgeon. Uh, and yeah, we're just, we're gonna open up these canvases and see what's in this box. And uh, hey, come right back after the intro. Hey, welcome back everybody. So yes, like I said, it is Thursday. Hear that ice in there? Yeah, it's Thursday, like the 18th, I think, 18th. Hey Google, what's today's date? It's Thursday, April 18th, 2024. April 18th, can you guys believe it? My God, um, May is gonna be here so fast. So, um, I'm almost done with the eyes painting. Yeah, I only have literally three inches left and I'm done. Um, so yes, as you saw, uh, I'm drinking my black cherry water and I'm drinking iced chocolate raspberry coffee. It's so good. It's so good. Um, so, first off, um, it was funny. I was talking to a fellow YouTuber the other day on the phone, and uh, he, yeah, it was it was a guy, and uh, he said, Richard, he said, it's so funny. He said, we, we start these channels, we get into a community, whether it's a book community, a crafting community, or, you know, so, just a social media community, or whatever kind of community, and he's like, don't you wish you knew who was watching? It's so funny, I've never thought of that. Well, I have, I, I think of that a lot when I do my horror uh, booktube channel. And um, it's so funny. And I told him, I said, yeah, you know, I need to point that out in my next video. It's like, would you go to a craft class or, you know, um, any kind of group or, you know, anything and not talk? <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, if you just watch the channel, Drop a line down below in the basement. Just so, you know, uh, not just me, just YouTube creators know who's watching. Whether you like the channel, whether you don't like the content, just say hi or just say, uh, not my style, blah, blah, blah. Just say hi so we know who's watching. Yeah. Um, I never thought of it that way. Uh, so speaking of watching, if you're a return um, viewer or if you're new to the channel and uh, you want to, hit that subscribe button right there and ring that little bell. Just, uh, you know, it gives you notification when us creators uh, post another channel. So, let's open this first. So, I'm really excited about this. I need my... Ceramic cutter. Yeah. If you guys don't have one, get one. Um, this is from... Um, this is from Diamond Jim, or not Diamond Jim, Jim's Paint Pans. I'll tell you his name in just a second. Yeah. He always packages his pens so good. 
yeah, there's always a note inside. Um, his pens are all custom made, unless you order one that he has already listed on the channel. Oh God, my hair today looks like, uh, yeah, I need to uh, have, well, I'm getting my hair cut Saturday, so I'll have Bruce redo my hair on Saturday. So, um, wow, how do I get out of this forehead look? <laughs> it's like, um, I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> it's like, but we do, we look at ourselves in the camera and we look like aliens or something. It's like, whew. But let's go down here a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's open this. So I already opened it. So um, this is, his name is Jim's Handmade Pen, pen Handmade, Jim's Handmade Pen Shop. Yeah, right there. Can you read it? Yeah, Jim's Handmade Pen Shop, pen shop not Pent. Um, yeah, not Pent, Pen, pen Shop. So, uh, he always, he, he always, uh, leaves a note inside and it, it just says, Jim's handmade pens, Payson, Illinois. Thank you for buying one of my handmade pens. Just a note about the tips. They are interchangeable and can be replaced. They sometimes become loose. I recommend wrapping scotch tape or washi tape, wrap it around the bottom of the tip. These tips I do not make. They are original. I don't carry the stainless steel ones. There is also a video on YouTube on how to replace the tips. But, uh, and then he signs it, you know, thank you, Jim. So this one was pretty cool. Uh, I've been wanting these ones for a while. Yeah, see, and then he puts them in a little sleeve. And then they always come in a velveteen bag. So this one, he had, I think he had one left. And um, I'd been wanting one for a while. Yeah, and then he ties this little knot around here. I'd been wanting one of these for a while, and uh, it, it kind of takes me back to childhood. Remember things that glowed in the dark? Remember being a kid? You always had to buy something, whether it was a t-shirt. Oh, God, this is bugging the hell out of me. It's funny because my hair's not flat. It's just with that painting right there behind me. Um, but uh, now Butters wants up on my lap. Butters, you want to be in the video? You fool yourself to think it's some therapeutic course of tablets. Do you know how he died, at least, said Elphaba. I know it was a violent action. I know his body was never found. I know it was in a little love nest, said Serena, for a minute losing her resolve. I don't care to know who it was exactly, but I have heard... <laughs> He's just staring at me like... Here's Bill. <laughs> yeah. So... We always had to buy things that glowed in the dark. I don't know why. I don't know why the, what the obsession was. So let's look at this. Yeah, this is really, really cool. It's like a lime green fuchsia-ish with a little bit of magenta in it. But all the lime green glows in the dark. Yeah. So I will pop up a picture. I'll, I'll uh, pop up a little video in the clip of me going into the dark bathroom so you guys can see what this looks like in the dark. Yeah, I don't know, I just like glow in the dark stuff. I, uh, my doctor's calling, hang on, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, everybody, that was my uh, doctor just calling to, <laughs> to remind me that I had a doctor's appointment next Wednesday. So, um, yeah, and I had to ask her a question about uh, my leg cramps, so sorry I had to answer that phone call. Uh, so, yeah, back to this pain pen. So he only had one left, and he usually makes four or five because he he makes his own resin, and and uh, then out of a big block, he usually gets like four or five. And then uh, I, like Jim, I like Jim's paint pens a lot. Uh, his was one of the first ones um, that I had uh, made for me. But uh, yeah, I've got six uh, custom made pins now. So I'm gonna take this one out of the Velveteen bag. Uh, sorry, can't talk. Um, yeah, so this one's going. Oh, and it comes with uh, a six or a seven. I had um, an, 
I had a nine, but that doesn't look like a nine. But, uh, oh yeah, it says a nine on it. But this is the narrow uh, channel, and I like the narrow a lot better than, and then here's just the single, the single tip. Um, so that's going in my yellow holder that Donna and her husband Jake made me. Uh, so yeah, let's get into opening this huge, huge package. Um, this huge package came to me from, uh, I don't know who these came to me from. <laughs> I guess I should have looked that up, huh? Before, um, <laughs> I feel so stupid, I should know. Um, but anyway, these are double sided adhesive, which I love. I love, love, love. Um, I prefer them over poured glue. Uh, it's like, um, and so many, since I posted in my last video that I was gonna open this, um, like 30 or 40 of you uh, asked me uh, questions. Either you left comments or um, uh, um, left a, sent me an email asking, you know, Richard, can I ask you a question? Why do you prefer uh, double-sided adhesive? Usually it's the other way around. Um, I love double-sided adhesive. It was, uh, it was the, f that's how the first four diamond paintings I ever did were. Um, and I'm gonna show you here in this video why I prefer it. Um, I'm gonna, you know, when I open these and look at each one, uh, double-sided adhesive is the type where you have the paper and, um, you know, it kind of makes sense because with cellophane being on a diamond painting, the cellophane rips or tears, or you go to peel, you know, even when you slice it or score it and then peel it back, sometimes it sh it'll pe it'll tear and it'll run and then you've got these zigzaggy. Why do we, I don't use them, but people that, re that use release papers, why do you pull off the cellophane and then put a release paper down? <laughs> so, that's why I like double-sided adhesive. Um, double-sided adhesive, the glue is thicker. Uh, um, yes, I, I know I'll get tons of people arguing, saying no, poured glue is uh, um, thicker. It's not actually thicker. It's actually the cheaper way to go because they can pour the glue out and they can make it as thin or thick as they want. Double-sided adhesive, um, it's just, you know, I, I'm not gonna argue about this or, you know, do a so-so challenge. This is my preference, this is what I prefer. It's like some people um, prefer squares versus round or some people won't do squares because they're too hard to get to line up. Square was the very first uh, diamond painting I did. So it just, you know, we always go back to that first way or first thing that we tried out first. and. This is why I prefer uh, double-sided adhesive over poured glue. So I'm gonna drop you guys over there. We're gonna move over there. Yeah, and I got my uh, fuchsia, it's called wine. And then my um, dragon scale green bracelet on. This is one of my favorites. I love this bracelet. And yes, I made it. Um, this was the bracelet I did on my channel. And Teresa at uh, Teresa's Journey, she made one right away, right after I posted the video, and she actually made three or four of them. They came out very, very nice. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go over there, and I'm gonna open this big, giant package, and then I'll tell you who it's from. I should have remembered, but I didn't. Um, I don't know why. Uh, yeah, and then, um, yeah, so here we go. I'm gonna pull you guys over there right now. Here we go. Okay, so I have got a poured glue painting here, and we're gonna open this huge thing. So I'm gonna slice, flip this over. 
So this order uh, came from, oh my God, this thing is huge. Huge, huge, huge. No joke, I have big hands and this thing is huge, look. Huge. So there is six paintings in here. Um, wow, look at that. It came in, I just love this guy. Um, so this is from uh, mycraftgifts.com. All the paintings, all the diamond paintings on their site. Um, let me turn on my ring light. I was like, why is it so dull? Richie, you've done this hundreds of times. Um, yeah, so with this channel, um, all of your diamond paintings are free. Yes, everything is free. You just pay the shipping. So as I... Okay, I don't want you guys to see these yet, but you're gonna have to see the. Oh no, you won't because I forgot. They're port. They're double back adhesive. Woo! Surprise! Merry Christmas. Yeah, butters. Merry Christmas, huh? Wow. These. These. Up. Oh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six kits. Uh, these I throw away. Yes, I throw away. Um, somebody said, Oh, Richard, you could send them to me. I love, you know, I collect. No, I'm not sending out any little. Um, so, yeah. This one's a square. This one's a square. Colors are very pretty. Wow. This one's a round. Now, the only time I really... If, if, if a painting is only available in round, I, I take it in round. But if it's available in squares or rounds, I always take a square. Rounds. So oh, these colors are very carnivally pretty. This one's around. And this one's around. Wow, the colors in this one are pretty too. Yeah, the colors in this are very, very pretty. Okay, so. Let's move these up here. So I'm gonna show you, um, because when I reveal these, I'm only gonna peel back the top corner. Um, yeah, because I score these as I work on them and then I just peel back the paper. Uh, so here is one of them. I'll show you the colors, you know, I'll reveal a little bit of the corner of each one, but um, I'm gonna show you guys the thumbnails first. They're all, this is the smallest one I got, which is a 40 by 55. And then they go from 50 to 70. So they're all really big canvases. Um, but here's the first one. It's called Aurora for the Aurora Borealis. Very, very pretty. I'm excited. That must have been the one that had all the rainbow colors in it. Oh yeah, duh. Um, I'm gonna move, oh, there's the sixth kit. I'm gonna move to this side. Yeah, I'm moving back over here. So here's another one, Superman. I'm so excited to see this one. Oh, I know who's gonna love this one. This is Diamond. What? This, this is Jack Skellington. 
Now this looks, this is like a photo because it's probably a clip taken from the movie. Wow. Cannot wait to see this one too. I know, Angela, do you love this or what? This big, huge, gigantic one. Actually, I have two huge, gigantic ones. These things are huge. This one is Pennywise. You want a balloon? You want a balloon, Georgie? We all float. Yeah, this is Pennywise over the house, 39 Kneebolt Street. Can't wait to see this. I did this one in a 30 by 40 years ago, and it was so small. I was so disappointed in it. I'm going to go over the prices of these. This one is going to be beautiful. What? <laughs> he's, he's talking to the hummingbirds. So this... Let me see if I can zoom in and not get a glare. Yeah. So this is a playing card. Jack Skellington is at the top in Christmas. And then if you flip the painting over, he's here at Halloween fall time. This painting is always sold out no matter where I go. And uh, the guy at um, uh, my crafts gifts right here. Um, mycraftsgifts.com. He uh, he emailed me and he said, Richard, we got the painting back in stock. And right away I had to, uh, <laughs> I had to buy one because uh, I've been trying for years to get this painting and I'm so excited. Um, it's a big painting. And with uh, my crafts gift, you can choose the size of painting you want. I love this, I love this website. And then here's the last one, stained glass Mickey Mouse. Now I've actually seen this done at a friend's house and it's beautiful. I've seen a couple people do it on here on YouTube and uh, I wanted it bigger than a 30 by 40. So of course I got it in a 40 by 55. So uh, yeah, so let's move these drills out of the way. Now. prefer um, poured glue. I mean, uh, <laughs> double adhesive. I'm so excited about these paintings. Um, uh, double adhesive over poured glue. Now, as you can already see, the canvas is heavier. It's still really, 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 really flexible. It's soft, it's flexible, but it's heavier. It's not gonna wrinkle. You don't get, unless they fold the painting in half, which uh, one of these did get folded in half and he apologized uh, for it and he credited me for it. Uh, so yeah, that was nice of him. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but I know um, I've got, I've got poured glue. I mean, double, God, why do I keep saying poured glue? Cause we're also used to saying poured glue. Um, uh, I've gotten double adhesive canvases before that were folded in half and they still didn't affect the canvas at all. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to show you why I love double adhesive. Now, let's see what corner do we want to start in. We will go, here's the thumbnail. So let's go, let's go down in the lower left corner. So see if we can find some color in this one. Yep. So I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. So if you notice when you pull back, oh my God, the colors are beautiful. The stick is incredible. The stick is incredible. Um, this is my preference. You guys don't, I'm not trying to talk anybody into doing 
double back adhesive. But if you've never tried it, just try it. Um, oh my God, the colors in this are incredible. The drill field is incredibly clear. And like I said, when I do a double back adhesive, I score these. Um, I score these, I put my ruler down, and then I usually score them in four inch segments. And then I'll just score it all the way across. And then I can do this and just pull back the paper. And as I work, I pull it back, work, pull it back. And then, you know, you can fold this because it's nice thick paper. You can save this. Yeah, you can save this stuff if you want to, uh, uh, you know, roll it back this way and save it. Or you can, uh, like when I scored in four inch uh, areas, I can save this and give it to a friend who diamond paints. And uh, she, she swears by, you know, putting cover, uh, not cover minders, um, release paper on top. So this way she doesn't have to buy it. Um, this, this release paper does not go bad. We all know it's shiny and got a coating on it so it doesn't stick to the adhesive. But now if you look with a double adhesive, you're not going to get this problem. The folding. Let me zoom out. Yeah. Yes, this is from GBFKE, but I've seen this from premium companies too, where it's actually gotten folded or bent in the um, shipping. And then you don't have, Ciro, sorry you guys, he can hear the mail truck coming. So uh, yeah, you're not gonna get this problem. I hate this. I hate this because sometimes, I don't care what anybody says, if you pull back the plastic, oh, they always say, oh, it gets rid of the wrinkles. It gets rid of the wrinkles in the plastic. It doesn't get rid of the wrinkles in the canvas. Um, you still have to roll them with a hard roller or iron them, but just pray that that does not affect the, um, the finished outlook. Um, you know, the, the finished, God, why am I having a brain fart today? I'm just stumbling on my words. Um, the final out, you know, outlook and finish of the piece. Um, you're not going to get that with a double adhesive. And um, I don't have to worry with the double adhesive about this tearing or, you know, tearing in a weird direction. And then, you know, you're placing your drills and it won't stick. And then you realize your cellophane is there. Whereas I don't take all of my cellophane off at once. I have animals, so I don't dare do that. Plus, when you remove the cellophane all at once, your glue dries out. Um, now, let's get back to these canvases that I bought. So, this is the Mickey Mouse. It's got 35 colors. The symbols are A through Z, um, 1 through 8. And then A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, down to Z. And then I've got four little symbols here. Um, yeah, see how nice and smooth this is? You're not gonna get permanent creases. So that is my answer. A lot of you have been asking, you know, Richard, why do you prefer double adhesive over cord glue? That's why. So here's the Aurora Borealis one. Here's the thumbnail. Very beautiful picture. I cannot wait to start this. So I'm gonna pull back right up here so you guys can hopefully, oh God. <laughs> the colors of this are going to be beautiful. Drill field, very, very clear. Let's, uh, I'm gonna do it this way. Now the cat's in the window. Oh my God, this is gonna be so pretty. <gasps> this is gonna be beautiful. 
This is going to be so pretty. Plus, goes right back down. You don't have to worry about the plastic wrinkling. Um, yeah, so there's the AB, the Aurora. Like I said, it's got 36 colors. Uh, where's the drills to this one? Mickey, it's Aurora. Yeah, so here's the colors. It's gonna be pretty. It's going to be very pretty. They come pre-kitted in those little bags. So there's the, the, the Aurora. The next one is also a 55 by 40. It's this one. The Christmas Jack Skellington. Uh, this has got 38 colors. There's the legend. Symbols are all pretty easy to tell what they are. Let's uh, let's see. Where can I see some color? Let's see what there is. Red. Or let's just go up here. <laughs> I cannot wait. Look at this. It looks just like a photograph. So there he is in all of his uh, Christmas. Halloween Living Skeleton Drill Field. Very clear. Now, when I <laughs> unfolded these, I should have told you the price. So, there is no price on the canvases from my crafts gift. But, Here's what I paid in shipping. So for the Christmas skeleton, it's a 16 by 21 inch. It was $16.90. The Aurora Borealis is a 16 by 21 inch, $16.90. Uh, which other one did I reveal? Oh, the Mickey Crystal. The Mickey Glass is 16 by 21. It was $16.90. And I've got the item numbers. The item numbers will all be below. Like I said, this was not a PR package. Um, I bought these. But uh, he did credit me the one. Um, I don't know which one he said got folded. But, um, and I just measured one of these. The measurement is the exact measurement of the picture. Not the, not the canvas size from here to here. So there's that one. Ooh, Bruce was like, okay, Richard, you need to stop ordering diamond paintings. So this is the Superman. This is another 40 by 55. Here's the thumbnail. Here's the drills. Here's the thumbnail. Joanna's texting me. Um, here's the drills. Superman's going to be fun. It's in that uh, kind of cartoon watercolor look, which I love. So here's the drill feel. Let's see what the symbols look like. This one's got 39 colors. Symbols are one through eight, A through Z. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine symbols. Yeah. So let's check the drill field out. I know it's gonna be clear. Drill field, 
Once again, those are stars. Very clear. I love this. I love doing this. There's something about... Oh, wow. Laura, Crafty Chef Diamond. I got another Superman. Now, <laughs> they do have an Aquaman that I want, <laughs> but... Oh my God, I needed to stop buying diamond paintings. So Superman, let's see, how much was Superman? Superman is also a 16 by 21. He was also 1690. This next one is the one that looks like it got folded. But uh, like I said, I've done enough double adhesives to know that it's not gonna affect. This one has 44 colors. Drill field is one through eight, or the symbols are, and then A through Z. And then it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 symbols. They're all very different. Let's zoom in to see if this um, fold is going to affect it. And I know it won't. Now this one, a larger one, they usually uh, put two pieces they, they do it down the middle. So um, let's unfold this. Oh my God. Angela, I have waited. Angela at uh, Diamond Painting Creepy Cuties. I have waited forever to get this. And oh my God, I can't believe I got it. Oh my God, the colors are incredible. Incredible. Oh my God. Now I feel like Diamond Cajun when she says, I love it. Oh my God, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. How do I open it? <laughs> she cracks me up, I love her. Beautiful, oh my God, it's gorgeous. Here's the fold. And look, no effect at all whatsoever. Nope, no ripple, no river, no nothing. Oh my God, the drill field. <gasps> These colors are beautiful. Here's the drill field. Very clear, very clear, very clear. Oh my God, I'm so excited to do this. I have waited, like I said, forever to find this. The rendering is so great in this size of a painting. Love it, don't have to mess with that plastic. Um. Like I said, this is a 50 by 70. This one, let's see. Um, Jack Skellington Poker is a 20 by 27 and he's 2190. Yeah, where are you gonna find a 50 by 70? for $21 in this quality. Yep. So this one is the sixth one. This is, hi, my name is Pennywise. Uh, yeah, this is the Pennywise over 39 Neibolt Street. Oh, I cannot wait to see this one too. I've done this before, like I said, but it was years ago. And uh, it was only a 30 by 40 and it was horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Uh, I'm gonna go back to this side so I can unroll this upper corner because it looks like there might be some color in this upper corner. 
Here's Pennywise. Here's Pennywise the Clown. Hi, I'm Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys know me with horror. Oh, God, there's his eye. <laughs> there's his eye right there. And there's the red T in the title. Here's the drill field. Once again, very clear, very clear. Yeah, very clear. So once again, this is a 70, a 50 by 70. I love this feeling. <laughs> I love this. It's like a good silk bed sheet. <laughs> yeah. You hear that ASMR, whatever it is? <laughs> I know. Joanna always says, oh, here's some ASMR music for you. I don't know what the hell ASMR is. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't really. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to zoom back out. So here are the symbols for the Pennywise. There's 41 colors. Uh, the numbers usually like all the same, one through eight, A through Z. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven symbols. And the Pennywise, the it painting, was also twenty one ninety. Uh, the it chapter one is a twenty by twenty seven inch, and he's he was also twenty one ninety. So the whole order for these six paintings came to one hundred eleven forty. Um, another great thing about uh, that I like about double adhesive canvases they store so easy. They store so easy. They're automatically flat, so uh, you can just lay them under a bed. You can. Um, hang them, you know, with a clip in the closet. Uh, yeah, I'm super, super, super excited. But you guys, I tell you that every time I do an opening, um, I never know what I'm gonna start next. Um, if you guys have used uh, My Crafts Gifts, My Crafts, with an S, gift, um, dot com before, right here, mycraftsgift.com. Uh, let me know what you thought of them. Um, I love them. Them, this company, Peggy Buy and Bonanza Marketplace are my ultimate favorite uh, company to buy from. Uh, when I purchase canvases or if I have custom made, customs made, I'll have one of these companies do it. Now that I've had a custom made, I've had two custom maids with a Forever Moment. I do love Forever Moment also. Um, I place her right up here with this, com with, this, with this company here. But my crafts gift has thousands and thousands and thousands. And they're like Bonanza Marketplace. Bonanza Marketplace is one, if you're a Disney fan, Bonanza Marketplace is one of the best companies to find Disney paintings. They have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. And the good thing about my crafts gift, you get to pick your size. Yeah, you get to pick your size. So you guys, like I said before, um, if you have not subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you did. I still, um, hopefully you guys like the gown of the day. I did pop it in in the middle of the video. And um, I'm going to go back over to the other table. And um, actually, I'll do it right here. So um, I was talking to my orthopedic surgeon about, he was talking to me about, you know, being a crafter and a jewelry designer and, you know, with all the things that we do with our hands, um, he said, Richard, you do do blood circulation exercises for your hands, right? And I said, no, actually I don't. I said, you know, what's a good one? And he's like, well, here's one of the best. So... About every hour, no, about every, yeah, about every hour, it's good to just stand up at your workspace, okay? I'm going to take my jewelry off. So, 
it's good to do this at your workspace, wherever you're working. Stand up. You're going to place your hands. Let me zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see my Frankenstein hands. So it's always good to place your hands down, lean over, and um, how can I do this? Do you guys can see what I'm doing? Let's try it this way. I'm going to move the camera over here. There we go. So stand up at your workspace. Put your hands down flat and do this. Lean forward. And really, really, really lean forward. And press. Now, if you can tell, my hands are turning very red. You'll feel it in your wrists. And then stop. Let the blood flow go back to the heart and up the arm. Goes back to normal. You're going to feel it in here really, really, really super strong. He said... Richard, this is the best thing to prevent arthritis and um, uh, carpal tunnel. So when you do this, you're going to feel it, like I said, really, really firmly in here. Your fingers are going to feel like they're going numb, you know, because, you know, you're constricting the muscles, you're stretching the muscles, and you're making... I don't know how he put it, I can't remember. Um, but you can just feel it and then release and everything goes back to normal. Do that three to four times every hour. Do it for about, I usually hold it till it starts hurting back here. It doesn't hurt, but you can really feel the stretch. It's just like any yoga exercise or any kind of exercise, but try it. It actually really, really works. Um, I've done it. Since I had my hip surgery, uh, yeah, since I had my hip replacement surgery in August, and it makes a huge difference. My hands don't cramp like they used to. Um, yeah, I have arthritis really bad in my knuckles, um, but it does help. And you guys, just try it. I know um, a lot of us have arthritis or, I'm, I mean, I know I've had a carpal tunnel uh, surgery yeah, I had carpal tunnel surgery, oh my God, back in the 80s when I worked for Costco. And um, it's just it's nothing I ever want to go through again, um, but it did work. But do these stretching exercises, try it. So uh, once again, you guys, I want to say thanks for stopping by. Thanks for taking time out of your day to stop by and see what I was um, unbagging. That is my personal preference. It's just my opinion of why I prefer... Uh, double back adhesive versus poured glue. Um, yeah. So you guys take care of yourselves. Stay bright. Stay blingy. Stay creative. Be nice. Don't be a bully. Um, all the stuff that's going on, you know, people bullying each other and just being mean girls and, you know, the way the world is. It's not worth it. Life is too short. Um, if, if If you have a personal opinion about somebody... Keep it to yourself. Sometimes, you know, we think of it as a funny joke, but sometimes it can really hurt somebody's feelings. Don't do it. Um, businesses, uh, there's a, a local used bookstore I um, used to go to here in Sacramento. Um, I called her out on her racism about um, Chinese people and black people, and she didn't like it. That's fine. Um, I, don't have to, I don't have to support that bookstore anymore. And, um, you know, being a business owner myself, uh, you know, I've had negative compliment. I, I've had negative comments made about jewelry that people have made uh, or jewelry that people have bought. You know, they took it home and it didn't match the dress they wanted. I refunded their money. I didn't ask for the piece of jewelry back. I just refunded their money. Um, that's how I feel comfortable. Um, that's how I keep a customer satisfied. Um, like the old song, it's time to keep the customer satisfied, satisfied. Um, yeah, that was a song from the 60s or 70s. Uh, but just don't be a bully. Um, it, it, it's just not worth it. Life is too short. So take care of yourselves, you guys. Like I said, stay bright, stay blingy and creative. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, you guys. I'm Richard with Real Men Craft 2.